White supremacists need to learn that by wreaking havoc, they're only gonna hurt their own cause. See, black people, we learned that a long time ago. We learned that lesson with OJ. OJ went free, black people went crazy, so white people locked his ass up again. <laughs> That's why when O.J. got out this time and got paroled, black people was chill. <laughs> they was like, O.J. out. We was like, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> hmm? But on the inside, we was going, the juice is loose, the juice is loose. <laughs> the juice is loose. Well, with Roy. We were happy in the inside. <laughs> Roy, O.J. is a convicted felon. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> the Republicans' attitude, uh, look, the Republicans' whole attitude about this tax plan should just be, hey, look, America, check this. We just signed paperwork. We about to be stunting on you broke bitches. We riding clean, we flossing, we popping our collar, get my private jet. All you broke-ass, middle-class haters about to be sitting on struggle. And if any of you punk-ass Democrats got anything to say about it, please believe I ride with my mother Second Amendment and I keep mine on me, my fofo. Make sure all your kids go broke. <laughs> The truth is, representation is, is so much better this year. Like, Jordan Peele and Greta Gerwig for Best Director, Mudbound's Rachel Morrison is the first ever woman nominated for cinematography. That's right, man. Everybody got recognized, man. Black people, women people. <laughs> but you're forgetting the biggest breakthrough of them all. Fish people. <laughs> Did you see Shape of Water? Bro, they got a fish person, an actual fish person, not in the background role like they normally get. <laughs> This fish person is the romantic lead, and he got to smash. Bro, that never happens. <laughs> a fish got to smash. Fish people never get to smash. That doesn't sound like a... I'm... Oh, oh, wait, wait, you're right, you're right. Little Mermaid, she got some pipe, but only after <laughs> she turned into a human. Now, I'm not blaming the Little Mermaid as an actress. Back then was a different time in Hollywood. Fish people had to take the roles they could get. <laughs> but this dude in Shape of Water, yo, He's openly fish and still gets the girl. Suck it, Aquaman. This story only blew up because the White House got involved, because what Jamel Hill said, honestly, should have just been another day on Twitter. But then this government lady went and fanned the flames. I think that's one of the more outrageous comments that anyone could make, uh, and certainly something that I think is a fireable offense by ESPN. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. That's a fireable offense. You want to see a fireable offense? Look around your administration, man. Look. Everyone... Look. Everyone has a right to get angry about tweets. It's Twitter. That's what you do. You get angry about tweets. But this is the White House official calling out a private citizen for speaking her mind. That's a step too far. Oh, well, now, hang on, Sarah. Uh, Sarah was saying uh, there that, um... Uh, you know, I think it's a fireable offense. She said, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe she was just sharing her personal opinion on the matter. Yeah, and Jamel Hill was sharing her personal opinion. The difference was that one was on her Twitter account. The other was on a podium at the White House. Look at her. <laughs> she got a flag and a logo. That makes it official. If you're standing behind the register at a Jack in the Box and you like, yo, my personal opinion, these burgers make your ass bleed. <laughs> in the White Castle. But, of course, the best backup dancer is the black one right there. <laughs> Look at this brother. Look at this Negro. He got a perm and a ponytail. <laughs> it's too much. Look at the sign. Everybody else had pre-printed signs. You know why he wrote Blacks for Trump by hand? That's because the minimum order is 100. <laughs> so, I, I think everyone noticed that guy. Like, who is he? The black man. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's who I'm talking about. Well, that's who I'm talking about. That's his name, Michael the Black Man. Those blacks for Trump signs you often see at Donald Trump rallies, many are handed out by this guy who goes by the name Michael the Black Man. Miami New Times reports Michael is a former member of the murderous Yahweh Ben Yahweh cult. A murderous cult that was accused of stabbing and beheading people in the early 90s. Sweet Jesus, what? <laughs> No, wait, wait, that's a real thing. The, the, that's the guy standing behind the president at a rally. Don't, don't freak out about it. He wasn't accused of beheading anybody. <laughs> Though he was accused of gouging a dude's eyes out with a stick. But he was acquitted. It was the 90s. It was crazy. Trevor, hammer pants, cocaine, everybody had a stick in the 90s. 